In this flick, I will explain to you about state and equilibrium, also processes and cycles. Firstly, I would like to talk about state and equilibrium. Consider a system not undergoing any change. In this circumstance, all the properties can be measured for the entire system that could completely describe the state of the system. For example, the temperature and pressure. At a given state, all the properties of a system have fixed values. If the value of even one property changes, the state will change to a different one. As shown here, the system is illustrated in two different states. Thermodynamics deals with equilibrium states. The word equilibrium implies a state of equilibrium balance. In an equilibrium state, there are no unbalanced potentials or driving forces within the system. A system in equilibrium encounters no changes when it is isolated from its surrounding. There are several types of thermodynamics equilibrium. For example, a system is in thermal equilibrium if its temperature is identical everywhere in the system. The system does not experience temperature difference, which is the driving force for heat flow. Mechanical equilibrium is related to pressure. And a system is in mechanical equilibrium if there is no change in pressure at any point in the system with time. However, the pressure may vary within the system with elevation as a result of gravitational effects and there is no imbalance of forces. A system is in phase equilibrium when the substance it holds encounters two phases, where the mass of each phase reaches an equilibrium level and stays there. For example, as shown here, when water vapor evaporates at the same rate it condenses in a closed container. Finally, a system is in chemical equilibrium if its chemical composition does not change with time. That is, no chemical reactions occur. A system will not be in equilibrium unless all the relevant equilibrium criteria are satisfied. Now, let us learn about the state postulate. What is the state postulate? Its properties describe the state of a system. The state postulate is a term used in thermodynamics that defines the given number of properties to a thermodynamic system in a state of equilibrium. To fix a state of a simple compressible system, two independent intensive properties must be specified. What is a simple compressible system? A system is called a simple compressible system in the absence of electrical, magnetic, gravitational, motion and surface tension effects. At an equilibrium state, the values of the intensive properties are uniform throughout the system. What are the processes and cycles? Any change that a system undergoes from one equilibrium state to another is called a process. And the series of states through which a system passes during a process is called the path of the process. To describe a process thoroughly, one should specify the initial and final states 
of the process and the path it follows and the interactions with the surroundings as well. When a process proceeds in such a manner that the system remains infinitesimally close to an equilibrium state at all times, it is called a quasi-static or quasi-equilibrium process. A quasi-equilibrium process can be viewed as a sufficiently slow process that allows the system to adjust itself internally so that properties in one part of the system do not change any faster than those at other parts. When a gas in a piston cylinder device is compressed suddenly, the molecules near the piston's face will not have enough time to escape and they will have to pile up in a small region in front of the piston, thus creating a high-pressure region there. A quasi-equilibrium process is an idealized process, and it is not an accurate representation of an actual process. However, Many actual processes closely approximate it and they can be modeled as quasi-equilibrium with negligible error. Therefore, quasi-equilibrium processes serve as standards to which actual processes can be compared. The prefix ISO or ISO is often used to designate a process for which a particular property remains constant. An isothermal process, for example, is a process during which the temperature remains constant. An isobaric process is a process during which the pressure remains constant. And an isochoric or isometric process is a process during which the specific volume remains constant. The terms steady and uniform are used frequently in engineering and thus it is essential to have a clear understanding of their meanings. The term steadily implies no change with time. The opposite of steady is unsteady or transient. The term uniform, however, implies no change with time location over a specified region. Many engineering devices operate for an extended period under the same conditions and they are classified as steady flow devices. Processes involving such devices can be represented reasonably well by a somewhat idealized process called the steady flow process. The fluid properties can change from point to point within the control volume, but at any fixed point, they remain the same during the entire process. Therefore, the volume, the mass, and the total energy content of the control volume remain constant during a steady flow process. Steady flow conditions can be closely approximated by devices that are intended for continuous operation such as turbines, pumps, boilers, condensers, and heat exchangers, or even power plants or refrigeration systems.